you both have exactly one hour to create four stunning dishes. Your 60 minutes starts now. Why the hell did you just have us get pampered for four hours just to go sweat our asses off? Hi, right. Chef. Yes, good afternoon. How are you? Actually, the minute I put my chef bites on, I feel more comfortable because this is what I wear, this is who I am. This is what I do. I'm gonna start my orzoto. I'm just gonna get these red rocking. In this final challenge, Heather and Ryan have just 60 minutes to prepare one hot appetizer and three entrees. One featuring fish, one with beef, and one with chicken. How are you feeling? Good, Chef. Sorry, we're not going out to dinner. That's all right. Got to focus on those four dishes. Yes, yeah, Chef. 30 minutes to go. All right. Yeah? I'm mad at Chef Ramsay for lying to me and telling me to take me to a musical. Why, Chef Ramsay? How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You really got to nail this. I want this win so bad. I have no room for error. I have to put up four perfect dishes. Just under five minutes to go. Heard. Curry cauliflower, and then the beef on top. Chicken jus is ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! Oh! Hell's Kitchen finalists, Heather and Ryan. Welcome back. Ladies, uh, feeling confident? <laughs> yes, yes, Chef. Yeah. Before we begin, there's something you should know. Yeah. This year, mm -hmm. we're going to change things up. That's right. Here's how it's going to work. The winner of each round will immediately get to choose one of the Hell's Kitchen wow. returning chefs there and then. Ah, <laughs> oh, sneaky, sneaky. It is crucial that I win as many of these rounds as possible so I can pick the strongest brigade and win. Here are this year's Hell's Kitchen chefs, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome back, bud. Shayna. Wendy. Devon. Andrew. Kimberly. Holly. And Heidi, welcome back. Let's begin. First up, to judge your appetizers, he is the chef owner of Republique, Walter Mansky. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Well. Let's start off with Heather. Describe mm. your dish to chef, please. Thank you. Chef, for you, I have a shrimp salmon and crab cake with a little bit of frisee and micro green salad with a lemon vinaigrette. Beautiful. Nice and crispy. Salads dress well. Happy? Happy. Very happy. Nice. Thank you, nice, Chef. Nice, nice, nice. Great. Good job. Uh, Ryan, please describe your dish to Chef. I have a creamy orso risotto with a little bit of asparagus. I finish it off with an herb goat cheese, and then I have butter poached shrimp on top. Very clean, simple. Shrimp are good. I wish the kale was cooked a little more. Two strong efforts. Is it Heather's appetizer or Ryan's? Which one do you prefer? I think Heather took a big risk, and I think the execution of it was there. Oh. Heather, congratulations. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Great job. I got the first round, bitches. Heather, it's decision time. Who can help drive your team to victory? Okay, the reason I'm picking this person in particular, they can help run the brigade. Gonna have to go with Andrew. Andrew, oh. wow. <laughs> there is no way, Heather, I'm gonna let you down. There is no way you're losing. They could just do me and you, Heather, and we're gonna win this fucking competition. Hey! I feel like she chose her boyfriend, so Heather's stupid. The fish entrees are being judged by Michelin star chef Michael Chimarusti. Oh, thank you. you. Ryan is up first with a seared freshwater salmon with pearl couscous and fennel apple slaw. 
the skin's nice and crispy on the fish, which is always good, and I'm glad that you served it with the skin. All in all, pretty successful. Uh, that was good. Thank you, Chef. Heather has prepared seared Arctic char with a brown sugar rub, Swiss chard, and parsnip puree. Everything's lacking just a little touch of salt, but I do like the brightness of the Swiss chard. Two very strong efforts. Chef, is it Ryan's or Heather's? I think because of the, the, the crispy skin um, and the fact that I love that nice big block of salmon that you cooked, I'm gonna give it to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan, Chef. Welcome. What is it? Thank you. Good to see you. You have now earned the right to pick. This person is the strongest competitor, in my opinion, and I trust her 100%. Gotta be Heidi, Chef. Okay. Heather doesn't deserve to be in the finals. So I'm definitely going to try to help Ryan in any way I can. Round three. It's now time for the beef entree, which will be judged by Chef Susan Feniger, owner of Border Grill and Mud Hen Tavern. Good to see you. Heather presents a dry aged ribeye with collard greens and sweet potato goat cheese au gratin. Like on the ribeye, maybe the back could have been seared a little bit more, but gorgeous presentation I think works really well. While Ryan puts up a filet with morels, kale, and curried cauliflower puree. The kale's cooked really perfectly and the meat's cooked perfectly. Yep. The garlic for me might be a tiny bit strong, but these are both yep. very interesting dishes. Yep. Chef, the moment of truth, uh, two very good dishes. Um, the ribeye from Heather or Ryan's filet. For me, the dish that works better is Heather's. Heather's. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank Watch you. this, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Take that, bitch face, Ryan. You have now won the right to make another pick. Polly, Polly, Polly. Kim, welcome to Team wow. Heather. <laughs> huh? Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing to judge the chicken rounds. This is a man that you definitely want to impress because it just so happens that he is the CEO and founder of Yaba. Yes, Chef. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Kunkel. Uh, welcome. Good are to you? see you. Presenter, Good Heather. Good morning, And Ryan. Nice to meet you. Uh, first of all, congratulations on Vegas. Thank you. The place looks incredible. I have definitely delivered two phenomenal, talented chefs, and they are so excited to be part of your team at Yarbert. The standard is high, chefs. It'll be busy, busy. Yes. This is my potential future boss of Yardbird, which specializes in chicken and poultry. I need to win this. Describe what it is, please. I have a seared crispy chicken breast with a tomatillo salsa with some micro herbs along the side, and there's also some caramelized apples. How's it taste? Very tasty. There's some bold flavors in there. It's a nice combination. Yeah, absolutely. Well nice done, chef. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Heather. Uh, please, just grab this job. I have a pan seared airline chicken breast with a little bit of truffle butter and sage. I have a little bit of butternut squash, and then underneath I have mashed potatoes. Chicken's cooked nicely. Thank truffle you. butter is nice. Vegetables have a nice bite to them. Excellent job. Thank you. Both strong dishes. We could definitely see on the menu for both of you. Nice. Thank you. Would you choose Ryan's chicken dish or Heather's? I think one of the things that jumped out at me most is I'm such a visual person, and to see a level of detail and refinement, it was definitely Heather's dish that, that jumped out Thank at me. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's amazing. Three out of four dishes I won tonight. Thank you, sir. Great job. Thank you. Oh, glory days. Heather, you have another pick. Polly, Polly, Polly. Shayna. <laughs> Shana? You picked, you picked Shana? 